today is research design but you cannot understand research design without all these inputs and the connection with me and connection with your own topics and areas okay so now i'm slowly going rolling into research design so research design it's a plan it's a statement it's a broad framework for your four years phd or research study okay and it is a plan of allocating your limited resources then uh, hypothetical and conceptual again all the research studies have uh, hypothesis conceptual presumptions are quite rare hypothesis they are tested okay uh, these these are important factors when you get into research design right now my fellow faculty said that if you regret sir we are lost with invigilation we couldn't access your slides so that is a limitation so how do you allocate your own limited time as a big resource to your research that is challenging i think uh, uh, dr nagajyoti was uh, telling that uh, in uh, arambha 2021 i remember that don't panic don't panic when you cannot manage something you have to think about yourself you have your own personal life you have professional life and in addition to that you have learning life or education life or research life uh, one more dimension added to this we all are matured enough god has given big brain only thing is we have to use it okay plan it for yourself planning makes everything easy okay so research design is all about looking for future in a systematic way so what is that future we'll see research study like i told you about variables it is all about variables the your study your research is all about variables okay then may what i did is broadly i classified into variables which are correlational symmetrical uh, any idea what is uh, correlation what is uh, symmetrical A any idea friends fantastic thank okay. thank you thank you miss kansal so here you. when you talk about correlation as miss kansal was saying it could be positive or negative or it could be zero means it's they're not related so here when i'm saying uh, when i'm saying correlational symmetrical symmetrical means they are moving the same pattern which means so a, any guess miss kansal so a correlation symmetrical means is it zero positive or negative you can give a try symmetric uh, uh, can i try with an example uh, uh, i'm sorry uh, sir can i try with an example yeah sure sure uh sir then it comes to uh say for example there is no relation suppose between two variables okay uh suppose i ask students that uh, today your results are going to be out but it's raining so how many of you will pass because it's raining okay so, Okay. Uh, but yeah, but when I say that suppose um, in a family when the income increases, so there are chances that uh, the consumption of sweets also increases as per study. In Indian families, when the income is increasing, the consumption of sweets also increases. Okay. So with the increase of income, okay. uh, we also invite some diseases. So there is a relation between correlation between uh, hiking uh, income and uh, the diseases. That, that's that's very good but my question miss miss kansal was is that in your example is it symmetrical or asymmetrical you can try uh, uh, sir i am not sure okay okay fine fine 
uh, uh, I appreciate your honesty. Good. Thank you. Uh, symmetrical means uh, one variable is moving upwards, another variable is also moving upwards. So they are both are moving upwards. Okay. And the other variable is moving down, this is also moving down. So uh, it's something like that. Interest rates are falling down, GDP is increasing. Inter increasing, GDP is falling. Maybe just example as a finance guy, I'm sorry, I'm giving you my finance example. Uh, maybe petrol prices are coming down. Okay, uh, car sales and two wheeler sales gone up. We all are linked to that. <laughs> okay, gold prices have come down. What do ladies do? <laughs> we don't tell that. Gold prices came coming down. I think there is people flocking at uh, uh, gold shops. Okay, so when you talk about uh, uh, this uh, correlation, which is uh, symmetrical, they are moving in one direction. Okay, symmetrical. They are moving together positively. As I asked Miss Kansal, it could be positively or negatively. But their the degree of change is the same. They are moving towards or they are moving away. The if interest road uh, interest rate go by one percent, for example, GDP is coming down by one percent. So they are perfectly symmetrical. Interest rate is fallen by one percent. GDP has gone up by one percent. Still they are symmetrical. Okay, this uh, correlation between the variables. Now let us see the other relationship which is causal. It's a relationship between variable A and variable B. Okay. So what is the relationship A is producing B or A forces B to happen, B to occur. Let us see. Now causal, causal means uh, causal studies which is more, it is uh, one independent factor influencing the depend fa depending, dependent factor dependent variable those are the studies which you call it as and in this you have reciprocal and asymmetrical let me show you what they are what is reciprocal so it is a win-win situation I give you give a mutual benefit scheme kind of thing okay so uh, the example the best example is the advertisements on the brand use because of the advertisements are started buying that brand as I am using that brand I am reading more advertisements or watching uh, advertisements of those brands in the newspaper or TV because I am brand loyal is there anyone who is loyal to the brands here be honest no one any brand loyals here don't say that I am sure 50% of the class are brand loyals yeah Yes, Maybe no? Few examples? Okay, if it's called. Yeah, it the is that when you have this, uh, like starting soaps in the morning, like even uh, starting with the you know, call, you know, starting from the day, uh, morning to day, <laughs> okay, okay. night, uh, yes, sir, many, many brands. Okay, okay. Usually you find the brand, uh, uh, you know, I think you, you find them. So I think that is the best example I thought I have given that. Uh, so you have advertisements and brand use they are they support uh, the they benefit each other okay it here in this uh, reciprocal it is very difficult to say which is independent and which is dependent uh, in Telugu I'm sorry to use that others you can explain your friends Kodi Munda Gudu Munda this is something like that so because of advertisements people are using the brands or because of the brand usage the watch rate of advertisements are increasing okay YouTube anal analytics says that the watch 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 uh, watching minutes or watch watching hours of advertisements are increasing why should one watch an advertisement maybe brand loyals are also increasing okay then asymmetrical means they are not one is purely means uh, purely change in one variable that is independent variable influences others makes other thing to do okay that which is a dependent variable okay so this is the best example more, more sales 
Okay, it is an example. I think uh, Mr. Arun, you are talking about uh, crop yields, right? I think uh, rainfall, how to increase uh, uh, yields in Anandpur where uh, uh, rainfall is very less. That is again an interesting area to study. Okay. Most of the research fall here only, asymmetric, asymmetrical. Majority of the research study, let it, let it be engineering, medical, sciences, technology, arts or whatever, they fall here. So what I did is, within this, I gave some relationships between four broad parameters. Stimulus and response. What is the stimulus and how the response is. Property and disposition. How the property is behaving and what is the disposition. Disposition and behavior. How disposition is influencing the behavior. And finally, property and behavior. So I, I, I think I made a table on this. Let me see you can understand these are the examples I have given you can uh, go through it okay stimulus and response a event is resulting in a response okay say for example when I wish when I wish good afternoon all my students wish back good afternoon so who is the independent variable and who is the dependent variable Independent students, independent exactly right. So that way, an event or change results in response from some object. So on the a professor is the stimulus, students are responding. Okay, so a very simple example to understand, and uh, other examples have given you. Then property and disposition. Existing property causes a disposition. Here, why you use the word property is it could be a non-living thing or a living thing. Okay. So that way you can consider that. I think this ties, time is not sufficient. More explanation is required for this, but you can have prima facie understanding of this. Okay. Then disposition and behavior. A disposition causes a spe specific behavior to happen. Okay. I think I gave uh, some examples. It's a self reading. Then finally, property behavior. An existing property causes specific behavior. I think. Uh, Age and sports, sports personalities retire at the age of 30 or 35, maybe some at 40. That is, a, if someone is violating that rule, I think there will be a medical study. Why this fellow is playing even after 40, he is playing in 50 years or 60 years. Okay, that is research excitement. I think this is how you have to deal with your research design. Research design is all about your data and its analysis and before that I presented you both the variables so whatever the data you collect is all about any one of your variables or all the variables okay so when you talk about your own research design of course uh, my students uh, they will definitely do this the first half is is done at your own end and the second half is about uh, the variables, about the research method, about the variables, about the research design, data analysis, data interpretation. This is technical. Okay. So you, if you want to be very clear with the research design, if you want to have foolproof research design, you should be very clear with the problem first. What is your problem? What is that you want to do? Then what is its nature? Okay. What is its setting? What is its environment? Then what are the objectives? research objectives based on the research problem definition its nature and your objective or objectives then what is the choice of your research method then what kind of efforts you want to uh, put in data collection you we all will be very happy if data is falling on our desk <laughs> maybe in future you will realize that data collection is the toughest task Okay, that's the reason you require a research design. You need not worry at all. If you design properly, data collection becomes so easy and so joyful. You try to get more data. Maybe initially you thought of thousand sample size. Maybe because of the reason that you are getting good data, you can increase it to 2000 or 10,000. That all depends on your research design. Then what are your abilities? Are you ready? I think we already discussed, of course. Time management, finish the PhD program in the st minimum stipulated time dictated by your university. 
that is very very important what is your time available your personal life professional life time for research so you plan your time that is first thing second thing is to what extent you are good or tough or weak where do you stand in your uh, uh, academics related to subjects or concepts theories laws definitions everything related to your own research area is strong you are already a master okay now you want to become a doctor doctorate in your own area for that you need to polish your skills i am sure you all are honing various skills in your own area but at that time has come to go back to your basics and uh, uh, polish your skills that's very important and what is the budget is there, is there someone sponsoring you or you have to fund your own money that to the lockdown times so funding is a problem you plan in such a way that it becomes economical there are plenty of ways and you all have to follow the guidelines of the university that is one mistake most of the research students do that you read the guidelines then if you read the guidelines and if you have a good understanding you can take them forward to your research guide or talk to yourself or any person who is already doing a phd or who is mentoring someone okay i think with this uh, uh, you will get good clarity you can connect your research type of research and uh, what is your choice to this okay you should be ready with the first phase pre research activities you guys have to do it i think uh, this is the maximum uh, you can have as a conceptual input on research design and ultimately the best research is a combination of your research method the choice of your research method and your research design if these two are so good okay it will be economical you can finish your phd very quickly and you can defend your own thesis you can defend in the in the front of all the scholars or students or professors from other universities with all confidence okay so i wish all the good luck to you all i think you have a, a quick question you can ask me on this research design friends any question on this research uh, sir, design sir i yeah. i have a very basic question please please uh, uh, sir in the very beginning you said that when we search for review okay uh, we should be knowing about our topic for example if you talk about neem haldi or yoga we should go for indian uh, uh, articles Exactly. Now, sir, uh, my thing is, if I am talking about, I am studying about startups. So basically, what I have read is USA, Japan are investing startups. Yes. So, sir, does it mean that I should be searching uh, articles related to only Japan or US and then slowly move to other countries? Yeah, yeah. That's a brilliant question. I missed out. I missed out that point actually. Uh, yes. Actually, the problem with uh, um, some of my students, they do that. thanks for asking that question you cannot emulate others okay so startup environment i think silicon valley california san francisco sfo uh, it is known for startups okay uh, larry page or zuckerberg all the startups google everyone you name any big startup it came from california right but you cannot simulate those settings into bombay or bangalore or delhi or vizag or any other place no not at all my point thanks for asking that so not only that for example someone is lost someone is lost on what to do if maybe right now some of you are not clear on uh, what should be a topic okay so don't feel that someone will help you it is you how to arrive see when you are hungry you should ask what do you want to eat is it a bread toast or hot dog or chicken biryani or golgappa pani puri or chicken pakora what do you want i uh, just fruits or you don't want to eat anything you should be clear then only things will come out why i am telling you this is when you do review of literature and you plan for your own research title you keep on studying you keep on pondering for yourself what i want to do why did i enroll for phd what should i do my faculty is good my guide is good but still what is that i want to know you sit in your room I, that's my first word when i talked about research topic you sit in for yourself switch switch off your mobile lock your room door 
I think sit in uh, uh, nicely sit in Padmasana or Ujrasana or somewhere. I sit in a chair like this. I'm sitting. And close your eyes. Who you are? Who am I? Why did I do MSc? Why am I doing PhD? How my PhD will be useful to you, others, to society, to business, to economy? How you bring laurels to your own university? Your parents, your spouse, your children. Okay. So you keep on pondering, that thing will do. Answering a, a, a consul's question, like this, when you start do a review of literature to get a topic, there it is you who have to understand those things. Okay, when you don't understand, you can go to your faculty. There's nothing wrong. Sir or ma'am, in that research paper, there was a research method, there is a research model. They used a model called CAPA model. How do I use CAPA model to my own investment areas? That kind of thing you can go. But when the faculty explains you what is that model, it is you who have to decide. You want to use that model or some other model. Okay? So that's the reason before you do your project or study or area, you should be knowing research environment. Some, somewhere I said, what is your research environment? In what kind of... Getting data is not that easy, my dear friends. If your data is primary, you're doing a survey or sampling. Do you feel respondent is ready to answer you? Come ma'am, I'll tell you. No. Even if you would send them a WhatsApp link, please, please uh, fill the Google form. There, it's very tough. You send thousand, maybe you may get uh, hundred or even ten. You never know. Okay, what I'm trying to tell you is, how do you reach others? If you are very clear about your own topic or research or a review of literature, others will understand you. You're talking to them and uh, sending them, thousand out of thousand respond respondents will come back to you for sure. I bet. Okay, but if you're not here. If you're not clear about your own thing, I think it's up to you. Uh, uh, question, Miss Kansal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. yeah. Anyone else? Quickly? Sure. Don't look at the time. I think I can ask uh, uh, research director for two or three minutes more. Sure, sir. Sure. Yeah, I think, yeah. Ma'am, so thank you. Uh, I think you can. Anything uh, about your research, uh, uh, type of uh, research you are doing, uh, uh, research method, research design, variable, controllable variables, uncontrollable variables, anything. See, I tell you, in Andhra Pradesh, a medico from Guntur, he did his medicine and for his higher studies he went to New York. Uh, I don't know what you call that in masters in medicine and he was presenting a paper looking at the paper in a conference it is not published that student just presented the paper okay and that medico got an offer letter as professor do you believe it it happened you can do a google search medico from Guntur got an offer from Stanford salary is maybe uh, one and a half two crores per month don't look at the scores. <laughs> Why I'm trying to tell you is the way you love your research, the way you make your research passionate, that gives you results. You will excel in your business, in your job, in your family, whatever you're doing, you will excel. People got uh, Nobel Prizes for their uh, research work, Markowitz for his CAPA model, Eugene Fama. He got uh, 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 Nobel Prize in Economics for his uh, work on uh, um, efficient markets. So like that there are many. I think I think recently in Inadu magazine, Sunday magazine, uh, I read about a business person. He is Mr. Patel. Patel and he had a company, uh, Paris. So I was so happy. Uh, for the company, Make in India, Atmanirbhar India kind of thing is happening. And that man, he was into marketing of... And only thing is, he was not in a hurry. He did a, a huge market research. He travelled pan India. And he understood the mindset of the people. Mindset of the people. And based on their responses, he thought that they have to launch 
a medical product which need not be prescribed by a doctor that gave him several crores that is research move i think uh, yeah. people yeah Reese, i read a, exactly i was amazed i when i read that goosebumps i felt so happy for my indian entrepreneur i was so happy and later on he stopped that business he went into agriculture again he started his new business and launched one more product fog for body body deodorants you all are aware of it fog stands for friend of a guy or girl he named like it fog he made a research and 80% of this people said that we already have axe and other brands we are buying and using 80% people said that we don't want to switch to another brand but 20% people said that youngsters in cities like bangalore bombay hyderabad ncr region kolkata what they said is my deodorant more than half it is gas so if there is a deodorant which is more of deodorant than gas we can save our pocket money our deodorant will run for one month that made him a business idea that made him launch fog big brands like uh, ax ax effect you all are aware the big brand image he was big success now fog is ruling the world fog is number one in deodorants so beauty of research my dear friends so with that excitement with that fire you start your research no one can stop you you will become karodpatis and arapatis you will make a lot of money with your research try to do research with that dimension not as an academic qualification that is my humble request i wish you all take my words and uh, i wish you all good luck thank you all Thank you very much for your nice words, Dr. Nagajyoti. Thank you very much. Thank you. We are honored, sir. Thank you. And uh, now I invite uh, Dr. Pradeen uh, to present the oath of thanks. Pradeen. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Uh, our most valued, honorable chief guest and chairman of Bharatiya Engineering Science and Technology. Innovation University, Bharat Lal Mina Garu, respected Chancellor of Best IU, Dr. Rupa Vasudevan, and D. L. Maheshwar, Vice Chancellor of Best IU. Guests of honors, scholars, and other dignitaries, a very good evening to one and all. Myself, Dr. Pravin Kumar, working as Assistant Professor at Best IU, it gives an immense pleasure to deliver the vote of thanks and acknowledge the contribution of those who worked hard. to make this a wonderful orientation program aramba 2020 21 for our best iu phd research scholars which is organized by research and innovation cell of best iu on behalf of best iu i would like to extend my privilege thanks to our today's speaker dr raju indukuri professor department of management studies mbg or college of engineering vijayanagaram sir really it was an insightful presentation on research design thank you thank you for spending your precious time and addressing to our research scholars and enlightening us with your valuable talk with the relevant examples wherever it is required it was a wonderful session it was a wonderful presentation thank you very much sir once again and i would like to thank to our research director dr nagajyoti for organizing this wonderful orientation program and enlighten us with a good sessions finally i thank to all our research scholars for being with us and for making this program successful thanks to one and all thank you very much i wish all the participants had some learning that is how i measure my teaching 
there is no learning i am not happy there is learning i am happy i wish you had that and i i request all of you to subscribe my channel professor raju and follow my uh, slide share account raju indukuri i'll be posting videos and slides it will be very useful to you in the coming days on research thank you all all the very good luck thank you sir thank you so much sir thank you very much thank you sir